hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back for you and for me I've been gone for a little while I've had a lot going on this past month and a half I've been traveling back to school was going on I don't fail I hurt my back but I'm doing well now and I am just happy that I'm able to bring you the September 2019 so sampler box now the so sampler box is a monthly quilting subscription box that is put together by the Fat Quarter Shop. Any information that you need regarding the box will be down in the description box. The link will be there. Just click on it. It'll take you to the web page. It'll tell you the price and usually um, what items that you receive in your box each month. So I'm just going to open up this box and check out what goodies we received. Oh, sorry. And the theme for this month is Think Pink. Now, I think this would have been a good color and theme for next month for Breast Cancer Awareness Month since the ribbon is pink. And usually in October is when people would wear pink to support, you know, breast cancer awareness. But on the back of our cover sheet, we do have two promo codes. The first one is to save 10% off motor fabrics. And the second is to save 20% of martingale books so don't forget to always check the back of the cover page because there are always coupons and promotions and things like that on the back so let's see what we received this month all right first up we received just bobbin along it is a a bobbin storage case and you can hold 28 bobbins so this is really nice okay so this top part it can come out if you want to use the storage case for you know something else but and this insert here is like a hard foam so that's really nice and it holds 28 bobbins and this is by it's so Emma All right, next up, we have this cute little item. This is from Dritz. I don't know exactly what to call this, a multi-purpose basket. But um, on the top, if you can see it good, there is a little um, cutter in here. So you can use this as a thread cutter. Also, the sides are magnetic, so you can use it to pick up pins or hold extra um, needles. I'm sorry, not pins, hold extra needles. And in the middle part, it's just an open little basket, so you can put extra bobbins in there if you're working on a big project. You can just pre-wind the bobbins that you need, store it in here. You can use the, um, the little clamps, put those in here. If you are um hand sewn on your binding you can thread your needle keep extra needles here on the side because they are magnetized and in the middle here you can just keep the spool of thread if it is small enough to fit and then you can just go ahead and start hand sewing and that way you won't have to really um worry about you know keep pulling your thread out so it's just really cute put thimbles in there whatever you like but it's a really cute little basket to use Okay, next up we have our fabric selection for the month. And this line is from Moda. It's called Moda Color Cuts. And this specific cut is called Dessert Cuts. And it measures 5 inches by 44 inches. And you receive 12 cuts in this bundle. So I'm just going to go through it so you can see what the prints look like. Oops, rubber band came off. <coughs> Okay. So on this one you receive 12 prints and normally with a jelly roll it will be half this size. It will be two and a half inches by the width of the fabric but with this they are five inches wide by the width of the fabric or 44 inches long. So if you wanted to make um, 
jelly roll strips out of these. You can just cut them in half down the middle and you will have two and a half by two and a half inch strips or jelly roll strips. Okay, and those are the 12 cuts that you receive in this bundle. This is different. I don't remember seeing a, a cut called a desserts cut before on the Fat Quarter Shop's website. Okay. So next up we have the sewing project for the month and it is called Straight and Arrows by Susan Ick. I believe that is how you pronounce her last name. Okay and this is the finished quilt. It will measure four and a half by four and a half inches and in order to complete this quilt you will need to have two yards of an ivory solid for the um, borders, your binding, and to complete the blocks. You'll need three yards of backing fabric and you'll need a 47 inch by 47 inch piece of batting. So if you plan on making this quilt top along with the dessert cuts that they gave us, you will also need those three things, okay? And last, we have quilt block number six of the Goodness Grows Quilt Salon. And the name of this quilt block is called Bloom in Season. Okay, so we have quilt block number six of the Goodness Grows Quilt Salon. And it is called Bloom in Season. Now, I didn't post quilt block number five from last month's box. So I will be posting quilt block number five as well as quilt block number six for the Goodness Grows Quilt Salon. Now this month we didn't receive a whole lot. We only got one, two, three, five items in our box this month. Usually we have about seven. But the items that we did receive were really nice items. I like the color and design on the fabric. So, even though we didn't get much, the items that we did receive were really nice. So, comment down below, what do you think of the items in our box this month? Did you like what we received? Did you like the fabric print and the cut of the fabric? Um, also, in the description box, I will let you know the price for each individual item and how that compares to the price that we pay each month for this quilting box. I hope you guys have a good weekend, and until next time, happy quilting!